Hi people, my name is uh, Gabriel Baldovin and this is the last uh, video of this uh, really serious to the movie like documentary Live in Neverland. As I mentioned before, if you don't understand uh, what I'm saying, just uh, check online for the YouTube version of this video and uh, go to the uh, right button and choose uh, enable first the uh, subtitle then choose the english or the romanian subtitle uh, i've noticed that uh, some of you uh, use phones to see my videos and um, the youtube application the youtube app for uh, phones doesn't have those setting, uh, settings and um, that's why i'll try to speak more rare and more clearly so you won't have to search for the subtitle however if I fail and uh, you still don't understand then you just have to wait until you get home and see it on wider screen devices like laptop or tablet uh, then uh, just check uh, in the YouTube account history and eventually you'll find this one or the previous ones and from there uh, you can enable the subtitle now I'll uh, make a short description of the uh, previous three videos that I made uh, the first one describes the uh, short sentence lies and manipulative techniques to influence people to believe that Michael Jackson is guilty the second one I cover the uh, big lies in, uh, covered in uh, psychopathological mistakes and uh, very rare symptoms uh, that these uh, two men uh, said uh, they had. In the third one, I have shown five, uh, five possible interests to lie about Michael Jackson, like I think uh, these uh, two men did. And also, I try to diagnose them after <clears throat> the diagnostic and the statistical manual of mental disorders criteria. Uh, if you get bored or listen to me or uh, don't have time but still want to know what I'm talking about, then go to the first video. There's a longer summary uh, at this uh, first part. It covers somewhere between 30 and 40 minutes and you're done uh, in this video i'm gonna first analyze our own phobic predisposition predisposition that uh, tend to take every sign of aggression or threat as a fact well this is what basically makes uh, make some people uh, believe that these two men tell the truth without fact, without uh, real evidence. And of course, like I promised in the second part of this video, I'll discuss the hypothetical possibility of uh, Michael Jackson being guilty, which I don't believe anyway, uh, like I've already stated in previous videos for many times. Uh, I'm not blaming, I'm not blaming uh, people who care about the sexual attacks uh, victims. On the contrary, I have a deep sympathy uh, for them. I uh, stood up till now and I will stand up for the rest of my life defending the weak people and the victims. And, um, but like I said, uh, these two men uh, don't look like victims to me right now. Uh, they are just uh, two thriving wealthy men uh, that uh, reached this position inside of society because of Michael Jackson. And uh, their fortune is up to $1 million for Wade Robson and uh, uh, 750000 dollars for James Safechuck, which is from my point of view, and I guess also from your perspective, uh, too much concerning what these two men uh, gave back to society or to the entertainment.
you know. I think uh, their my problem is they want some more, they are too greedy and uh, without a proper justification for that, that's the problem. Well, we all want more thanks to the consumerism or culture that uh, infested us, but we simply go and work for more. Well, they beg for, for more uh, in a very aggressive and uh, destructive uh, way. Uh, actually, the greed is a wide problem for nowadays society and uh, wanting more health in the economy is true. But uh, unfortunately, that mentally disorders the people, as I pointed up uh, in a second video response. And um, then uh, we associate our general mental turmoil with uh, a no conclusive uh, frustration, an easy frustration. You know. but this is a you know, primitive way of understanding the mental disorders. That's what some primitives tried do for explaining pregnancy, for example. You know, the pregnant women uh, from such tribes associate first uh, uh, acknowledge of uh, the, their baby in their belly with something in the outside world and then uh, they assume uh, that um, uh, their baby somehow were sent by uh, these facts into the bellies. Uh, that's a very, that's the way the, the nowadays common people explain uh, the complex uh, mental disorders, like I said, uh, and um, without proper knowledge and, of course, without much information from a still low level of uh, uh, mental sciences, neuroscience, neurology, and all kind of uh, uh, science that uh, deals with the brain, you know, some. some uh, very important figure in uh, uh, studying the brain said that we know about the brain right now what the middle age society knew about heart. So we run from here. Well, uh, the severe mental disorder, uh, it's a long multi generational uh, progress and uh, process. No, uh, and uh, as we can see, this consumerism that uh, implies working uh, hard mentality is one of uh, uh, is the one that uh, actually brings uh, uh, sufferings into our soul, like depressive disorders. Uh, it's not okay to blame Michael Jackson for that, as it is uh, the white society's fault. Actually, uh, it's us. It's us that we hurting each other and we hurting ourselves. Uh, these two men accuse Michael Jackson of sexually abusing them, while uh, we we don't actually see clear uh, signs of severe mental disorder symptoms that they are uh, that actually are conditioned uh, by early sexual abuse. In my previous video response from this uh, seri series, um, I emphasize 10 of such severe mental disorders and these two men don't fit either one of them. They don't match their criteria to be included into. And uh, uh, for now, there's no prejudice done concerning their uh, former relationship with Michael Jackson. So until we see such a uh, wasted and collapsed lies from them or other former Neverland sleepovers, for me there is no prejudice done. Uh, let's wait uh, and see if something will uh, contradict that uh, nice facts, but for now we don't have such facts. Um, unfortunately, uh, our own traumatic experience reflect into our perception towards this issue of sex abuse and criminality in general. Uh, we tend to believe these men uh, uh, out of our 
uh, our uh, own uh, sufferings uh, or other people's sufferings, you know, uh, that we empathize, empathize with. Uh, uh, the truth is that uh, in this world there's a lot of abused people, a lot of women were raped and uh, they still are raped uh, today. And um, even a lot of kids were molested, like we know. Uh, this is a cruel reality of our uh, civilization. Uh, most of us know someone from our family or uh, from our entourage that uh, has been involved in such crimes as victims or uh, perpetrators. Most of us uh, are upset about it and want to repair somehow these things. It's normal, it's natural. Uh, some of us, um, you know, inherited a spectrum of mental scars uh, from their uh, genetic three experience traumas. Uh, so people like this um, are said to become either phobic or too aggressive uh, towards this kind of situation, you know. Um, in the first case, case uh, they tend to avoid future traumas. Uh, in the second one, they uh, confront and confront it and um, want to revenge on it. Well, these people tend to believe the idea induced by this movie-like documentary that uh, that uh, Michael Jackson had uh, sex with uh, the kids, with these kids. Uh, this is the most common uh, mistake uh, uh, that um, all the victims usually do. They blame everyone after. And this is also normal. It's normal because uh, their mind and uh, behavior take further cautions in order to prevent uh, uh, future traumas, uh, and that's good for them. But wait a minute, think for a while. If they see everyone as perpetrators, that doesn't necessarily mean it, this is true. You know, um, there are a lot of uh, phobias in this world, a lot of fears, uh, unjustified fears. People fear from children fear from small or too large spaces, fear from birds, and so on. And some of the fears are justified, like uh, fear from snakes or from uh, sharp things that could hurt people. But others simply uh, don't cause in no harm whatsoever. You know, uh, these creatures and uh, objects have no potential harm in them. Uh, but there are people that uh, avoid them because they perceive them as dangerous. Uh, uh, the people that um, believe this movie-like documentary are halfway that road. You know. They're close to a phobic person. But let's look at the facts here. Let's not blame Michael Jackson for them. Uh, and for that. You know, this is their problem of perception. For now, we have uh, three or four or five or whatever uh, kids that complain that Michael Jackson sexually molested them, but we have hundreds and thousands of kids who visited Neverland. And um, we have also other tens or even hundreds who slept over in these bedrooms uh, over the years. It is not enough to declare someone's guilty of child uh, molestation. I don't think it is. But let's wait to see if uh, over the years will come up other depositions. Until then, uh, we have nothing against Michael Jackson. Let's focus, people. Um, the, the statements are nothing without facts. Uh, they can substitute the facts. And this is I guess the, the most problematic uh, aspect of this movie-like documentary it shows only these two men and the other two uh, previous uh, uh, accusers against Michael Jackson. But 
we don't have uh, the other side's opinion. You know, but where are the psychologists to show uh, the other version on the matter that I have shown? Where are the judges? Where are the FBI officials? It's not uh, that we should necessarily take for sure the force uh, institutional authorities. You know, they are not always to be trusted, but uh, there must be something else than talking. Uh, until then, uh, until then, uh, Michael Jackson is innocent, and its legacy must be respected. Um, but. Uh, like I said in the first video, I take uh, into consideration that one of them or both have spoken the truth or the partial uh, truth about Michael Jackson. Because like I said, uh, right now they look like lying <laughs> and there are nothing uh, that proves that he uh, sexually abused them. And uh, uh, by the way of lying, I recently saw some videos that uh, have shown many of the non-sexual facts that these guys describe in this movie like documentary that actually don't match with the real facts and it, they're a lot. It looks like a lot of lies are involved in there. I haven't got a time to check them. And uh, actually, it, it's going to, to, to be a very long research. If you have the time, just go for it. Uh, so, uh, I won't be getting into detail here, as this video is meant for something else. But uh, uh, I put a link, link uh, into this video uh, description uh, to one of these uh, videos and you can do your own uh, research and take a position on this topic. However, let's uh, hypothetically say that one day there might come up uh, undeniable proofs that uh, Michael Jackson abused uh, young boys. Well, that uh, would make me sad for sure and confused as I guess many people. However, this, uh, this crime, this hypothetical crime, should have judged into more indulgent terms, as uh, this kid uh, I wanted it to. As I have uh, already spoken about uh, uh, in uh, my second video, the early active sexuality uh, happens to some kids. This is a reality a long time ago observed by the mental uh, health professionals. So I'm not talking about from my dreams. I'm not guessing. Uh, we know that um, there were specifically these kids that uh, asked to go and sleep in uh, Michael Jackson's uh, bedroom. So uh, if uh, one of these ugly things had happened, it happened because uh, these kids wanted it, and uh, they wanted it in the first uh, time. You know. uh, Michael Jackson would have his guilt, of course, but uh, his crime would be not a major one, as the rape or murder, you know. And uh, like I said, I would still love him, firstly, because he was a performer like no other, and secondly, uh, because um, of so many good things he did uh, as a human being. Uh, I have um, here some notes about them, but I don't think I'm gonna, in my phone here, I don't think I will uh, uh, enumerate them because there are so many, you know, and uh, it's not hard to find them, to see what these men have done in this world, good things. Uh, those bad things he would presumably have done are nothing compared to the good ones. You know. And besides that, no good thing comes uh, with the dark side. This is the fact. Take the atomic power 
that both uh, brought us uh, the atomic bomb. Take the technology that is also killing some of us. Uh, take the growth in uh, human population that uh, uh, threatens other species and the entire planet. You know, the Bible say get numbers uh, develop, but now we have to maybe a stop the growing population and to our species. There are bad things uh, that can as a side effects, but you can say that the atomic power or the technology or the human domination among other creatures uh, would be necessarily a bad thing. Uh, that is why I think uh, if Ma Michael Jackson did uh, partially or totally uh, what uh, these men say, then uh, his good actions are way more positive than the bad, the bad ones. And uh, let's face it, we all have the bad and good habits and actions. Uh, we can hate ourselves because of a certain negative uh, side that we have. Uh, we can stop loving our children because uh, of their negative behavior towards a certain aspect. You know. uh, Michael Jackson's uh, legacy must continue to, to the future generations and be respected. Uh, in the history of uh, culture, there were big minds that had different weaknesses. Uh, those weaknesses eventually hurt some people. And, um, uh, the most well-known example is uh, the German philosopher Martin Heidegger that openly supported Hitler and the Nazi. Uh, he was a, a very respected public figure at that time and um, he directly influenced other intellectuals to to do the same and his political mistake eventually helped Hitler to gain the power and um, after that uh, you know we know what happened Hitler established uh, the terrible dictatorship that killed tens of millions and uh, Italian uh, late Renaissance painter Caravaggio is another example. He brought, he announced the Baroque uh, into the scene. But uh, after his death, he was found guilty of, for murdering another artist. Uh, also in the Eastern Europe, there were a lot of good people that uh, collaborated with the secret political uh, police of totalitarian communist systems and uh, that uh, eventually led some of their friends to prison or even death. Very, very ugly facts. Terrible. But um, far from uh, the ugliest things that happen in nowadays society, remember that the wars are still artificially fabricated. So to produce uh, migrants to cover the decreasing uh, bird uh, birth rate. Remember that uh, thousands and hundreds of thousands die after these wars. Uh, remember that the US police kills daily. Remember that nobody wants to dismantle US big city suburbs gangs that terrorize citizens because uh, these uh, sadistic people that govern our society need uh, need worse. They simply are feeding with uh, uh, people's sufferings. And uh, that's why they protect uh, those gangs, whatever, and whatever bring uh, sufferings to people's soul. They are the uh, real murderers. These actions are the real crimes. If Michael Jackson presumably kissed some boy's genitalia, which again, I don't think he did, uh, well, that would be nothing compared to these major crimes that uh, our society uh, participates. 
but these people have the place in their uh, uh, they are they have their their own place in uh, in the history of culture, as Michael Jackson uh, himself has uh, these big figures. For uh, several decades, Martin Heidegger was marginalized by the post-Nazi German society, but they soon realized that uh, one bad fact went to wash away the truth that he was a great uh, philosopher. And he was rehabilitated. Now I'm going to tell you a story about um, uh, a great Dutch painter named Rembrandt. He was a, a very successful uh, painter until he painted the famous uh, The Night Watch, uh, the commandment, commandant uh, Franz Benning Koch. I'm not sure if this is the way its name is pronounced. So this commandant uh, uh, was very upset for not being painted uh, more visible than the others in this uh, image, this painting. Uh, so he wanted revenge. He stopped buying from Rembrandt anymore. Uh, that uh, event involved a kind of domino effect. All uh, the Amsterdam aristocracy followed him uh, as well. And uh, eventually Rembrandt went poor. Uh, we have um, the, the option to choose this uh, 70th century attitude to an artist. Uh, in this case, we punish the artist for his uh, legacy, for breaking the community's laws. Or we can uh, choose a 20th century attitude by separating uh, the human weakness uh, from the artistic and uh, cultural magnitude. Of course, um, those who want to have such reaction and live in the 70th century are free to do it. But uh, the fact is that Michael Jackson is part of the history of culture and uh, he will be loved no matter what. Uh, and um, the end of the four hours movie-like documentary, we see Wade Rapson burning a thriller jacket copy uh, and some stuff uh, he was given to him by uh, Michael Jackson himself. Uh, wait a minute. I thought you say he was larger than life. Uh, your sister said that uh, she's respecting him as an artist. Now, from your gesture, I conclude something else. I understand that uh, if you... Uh, we have the power to the entire Michael Jackson legacy, you would uh, simply burn it just like that. You will er erase him uh, off of the history, just like uh, the detectors did with, uh, in the past. Well, something like this uh, was done by the cruel Roman Emperor Nero. Uh, there were uh, uh, rumors that uh, he burned the Alexandria's library to get rid of something he didn't like. We don't know for sure that uh, he really did it, but from his previous facts, uh, he could have done it. The ninth century uh, Byzantine, Byzantine, Byzantine iconoclast burned thousands of beautiful wood panel paintings because of the ideas that uh, God can be represented. Closer to us, the Taliban destroy ancient uh, sculptors because of religion. That's not okay. What kind of uh, attitude is that? Uh, it looked like a middle age to, to me. I heard now some radio and TV stations uh, took off Michael Jackson's music. I also heard that some of members of uh, Jackson family have restriction to perform in some countries. These mentalities look like uh, those of in Inquisition. Well, 
That's what uh, these people should uh, know about it. The health of uh, 20th century music is not possible without Michael Jackson. And, uh, I understand that there are haters. It's okay to not like an artist or a person. Uh, but um, now uh, to have this demand that uh, other people should have the same ideas as uh, them, well, that's a dictatorial mentality. I've seen several Michael Jackson diehard fans that eventually uh, turn off uh, into supporting other styles or other bands, especially heavy metal bands. Uh, I, for myself, was not pleased uh, of this uh, refugee into childhood that Michael Jackson did in his late career and chose another music style to listen. But that doesn't mean Michael Jackson should be burned like that and uh, took out uh, from the history. Always have been people that didn't appreciate uh, big artists. But a professional attitude towards art uh, is respecting those who appreciate uh, that particular artist. I understand uh, uh, he might have done something horrible, which for sure now is not uh, certainly proven. But what about his other side? You simply burn it? After this logic, the culture should delete Caravaggio and Martin Heidegger out of history uh, because they did something wrong in their private lives. No. We have a modern justice that, among several bad features, gives the second chance to people that uh, might break the law. But the attitude shown in uh, this uh, movie-like documentary is, uh, like I said, the middle-age mentality of torturing and sending directly to hell uh, human beings. And um, here I have, uh, I'm uh, directly th uh, talking to some American people and others uh, that support the uh, death uh, penalty. Uh, some of you have uh, uh, suffered horrible crimes and uh, one revenge from. Others, like uh, those very close to phobic disorders, want to make sure uh, one ever meets such murder. I understand. Uh, the death penalty is your only tool to protect it. Uh, I've, uh, if I've, I would face such a criminal or if uh, I'll be blinded by sorrow, probably I'll do the same. Uh, the self-defense by aggression, um, it's normal. But this is, this still belongs to the middle age society. There's another way. There's a fair modern society like uh, North European countries. Did you know that uh, such a country, I guess it's Sweden, um, but most of them uh, close their prisons because uh, of they don't have so many criminals anymore. They close their prisons. They turn them into something else like libraries or museums or concert halls. Uh, because they, they don't have so much criminals. Their society respects the human being. They have a good educational system uh, that will give every child a place into the society when they uh, become an adult. They have a psychotherapeutic assistance for children uh, that uh, are at risk to become criminal. Uh, when grown up, what your American society does, and not only in America here, uh, unfortunately, there are such profit toxic societies here in Europe and Asia too, especially China. 
what this society uh, does. The opposite. The mind interest in these societies is the profit, not the human being, which is unnormal. The corporations and uh, rich people in uh, the world uh, only want to suck up the profit out of the people. If you don't work hard, then you can find a job. And then you're excluded out of society after uh, they were very, very careful for you not to learn to live and survive uh, our Sade system. Do you remember how the every USA president's statement uh, state about uh, no child, no child left behind? Why is this statement is not uh, continuing to uh, no human being left behind? Remember the quoting from the uh, previous video that. Um, uh, 39.7 million U.S. people live in uh, poverty today, as the uh, U.S. Census Bureau has reported in 2017. So, where's the fair society here? Where's the no child left behind attitude towards these people? And unfortunately, in spite of our... Uh, 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 certain freedom and uh, wealth, you know, in spite, in spite of that, uh, the U.S. looked very much like a middle society for uh, the lower base of the social pyramid. The gap between the rich and poor is a sign of not fair society. Well, to work hard out of fear of being social excluded, it's another kind of slavery. That's a modern, modified slavery into a wage slavery uh, that I've been talking about uh, in the second video. That's the origin of uh, hypersthenic uh, disorder that I've been talking about. And um, few mental health professionals recognizes it as a disorder. But this disorder is the foundation of every severe mental disorder, as i shown uh, in my uh, online free book, uh, The Dynamics of Abyssal Psychology. Well, they cultivate this hypersternic disorder into our soul, so we'll work harder and get them rich, because that's what we do. They make you believe that uh, working hard will uh, eventually make you rich, but that's a very, very low probability. Uh, the new masters, the new masters are more likely to uh, get even richer out of, of your hard working, like in every slavery society. Well, some people uh, can't cope with uh, this social uh, social pressure of hard working and eventually commit crimes. I think the most uh, unfair society uh, is uh, such a profit society. The more unfair society, the more criminality associated with. And some of them are major, major crimes, as you hear about it daily. Our deep mental layers, uh, layers, uh, specific uh, behavior is to act repressive. And that's what some people with psychological experience concerning Michael Jackson. They tend to forget the good things that uh, he did for this world. Out of the darkness, revenge on their um, experience uh, or uh, transgenerational inherited traumatic experience. But the repressive uh, justice doesn't solve the problem's root. 
On the contrary, this revengeful predisposition uh, for uh, making uh, repressive uh, justice only sends the traumas to the others and uh, eventually to oneself, to our own person. The repression justice fails every time. It is more like a parent who keeps beating uh, his children. That's what our society does with the criminals. They, they punish them after instead of uh, creating a more uh, equitable society, more uh, fair society that gives a chance to everybody to live a decent life. It is more a revenge justice than solving the problem from the roots. All the social uh, engineer happens uh, because of uh, this middle-aged middle age, uh, idea of justice by repression. The huge number of casualties uh, uh, followed by the US invasion in, in Iraq uh, happened because a lot of uh, US people connected uh, with, uh, with uh, the 9-11 and believe in the social engineers' manip manipulative lie about uh, uh, Iraqi leader having chemical weapons, remember? These engineers simply wanted to have cheap Iraqi oil. And some of those who supported this uh, manipulative uh, news engineer eventually lost someone in the bloody Iraqi war that came after. Cheap oil paid with human lives. Huge profit paid on human lives. This is what our society looks like today. And uh, this repressive mentality wants now to destroy Michael Jackson's legacy. Well, no way. Michael Jackson was a kind of, was a kind of person. He was not Jesus, of course. Uh, he was not a saint, but he was a much better person than most of us. Like I said in the previous video, if Michael Jackson had done uh, what these uh, two men say, which I don't believe, that would be not rape. And that, was, that would mean um, not a major crime. Uh, this man had an active sexuality as uh, prepubescent kids. Such infantile sexuality exists among uh, some children. That's a fact. He would uh, have made a crime, of course, but these kids wanted to. And they uh, kept saying that uh, uh, they were the ones who asked them uh, for sleeping in uh, his bedroom, like I said. So. That's uh, uh, your problem, not Michael Jackson's. You know, of uh, uh, analyzing this, uh, his present in crimes and uh, judging it. You know, Michael Jackson is dead now, but his legacy will continue no matter what. So it is your problem, your way of understanding the culture and your way of inserting in the society. You are a hater and not Michael Jackson only, but on the community itself. You hate your neighbor and even your family that uh, ambivalently also you love. And most of all, you hate yourself that also but ambivalently love. Uh, you have to give up to give up your American dream narrative. This is a fake, a misleading ideology. And Michael Jackson, I think, uh, is the best example for this. He worked like a slave from the very early age. And uh, of course, at one particular point in uh, his life, he was very wealthy. But 
right before he's dying. He was in debt. Some say he was uh, in minus uh, 400 millions. He spread, of course, most of his fortune to charity, it's true. But uh, what kind of society is that who rewards like this, I guess the most workaholic person that ever lived? He was so workaholic that he was not able to sleep in the night anymore, thinking and working. That's why he hired a doctor that uh, uh, they say eventually killed him to make him sleep. He couldn't sleep. That's what hardworking mentality like uh, American dream does to every each of you. Does not the American dream. That's a nightmare. This uh, uh, profit society, it's, I guess, the most sadistic of all that ever existed. The human sufferance is bigger than ever in history. I've shown in the previous video that uh, about 80 to 90 percent of population is suffering from a less or more severe mental disorder. At least uh, in the past society, mass killing, uh, killings, uh, you know, the dead uh, came right away. But now the sufferance lasts throughout one, uh, one's uh, entire life. So before making repressive justice to others, you better look to yourself and escape from uh, that trap uh, you're living. Let's see. Well, uh, that's about it. Thank you for watching. Uh, uh, now uh, think for yourself and make a proper choice concerning Michael Jackson. Feel free to comment uh, uh, these videos, but I want everybody that will delete the coursing and obscene uh, comments. So think about people. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.